the new GCAM 7.4 is just awesome. In the first version that we did a full review of from developer Pirot, it could take some wonderful low light pictures. And from our review, we saw it could do a lot of things with the full refinement. But between that two weeks and now, um, the developer actually released two more versions of GCAM. And we're going to pitch the version 1 versus the version 3. And let's see what's new. <laughs> Welcome back to Smart Deport. Two weeks ago, we did a full review of GCAM 7.4 from developer Parrot, and it was awesome. You can click on the link in the cards up right now, and you can see that. But if you're new, you like our video, you might want to click on the subscribe button to get more updates. And two weeks after, we already have two new versions. So in Smart Depot style right now, we're going to keep them side by side and we're going to check out what's new between the GCAM 7.4 version 3 on the left and GCAM 7.4 version 1, which we actually use for the full review. So in Smart Depot style, we're going to start from the user interface and the shortcut uh, menu. And from the camera setting right now, there is no much difference. Then we'll go to portrait uh, on both. Uh, we can see um, there is no much difference, um, but relax. We're going to go in deeper and show you some of the new things that happen. In the night side, uh, there's still no much you know, difference in the settings for the night side. So let's go to video right now. So for video, um, you can notice a change now because um, if I select a 4K 60 frame, which my device cannot do in version 1 it will just give me error but right now in version 3 it won't even allow me to select that because my device can only do 4k 30 frame per second so that's kind of good improvement so let's go into the settings so from the settings there is now yes we can see on the left now do not disturb access oh do not disturb mode is very very important if you're taking videos and our oh, camera you don't want somebody to disturb you so let's move straight into the advanced settings right now uh, there is no change in the advanced setting i was just hoping they would add configuration you know files uh, but it's not added and then if you go deep into the lip patcher there's still no change. It's still the same thing. I've actually tweaked the version 1, which I used for the review. I'm yet to tweak the version 3. But, you know, the settings are all the same. But one of the things that's very important about the version 3 is some of this internal refinement. Like, as I said in the full review, uh, if I want to take HDR pictures on my phone from the version 1, you know, I lose saturation and the color in the picture. I lose it a little bit. Uh, but that has actually been fixed right now in version 3. So when I take HDR pictures, I still maintain the good color, the saturation. So make sure you click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be keeping you up to date if you love Gcam, if you love to take the best picture out of your ch uh, phone. And just make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon and we'll keep you abreast with the latest updates on Gcam. So let's go to the website right now of the developer Pirate and let's check out the change logs. So you might just see a few lines there like fixed pink feel in photo, you know, even added support for more the devices so so that's where it's actually difficult for those developers because they tackle a whole lot of devices there's also clone if you want to install to gcam so click go to the link in the description right now go there download gcam install it and let me know whether it's working on your device how is it and i'll see you in the next video peace out subscribe i'll see you